Take a breath. Yeah. Oh, uh, trans. Welcome to The Melo, a new series from GLAAD where we'll be bringing together queer comedians from all across the Latina community and asking them to tell me about it. I'm your host, comedian, writer, and maybe Jack Antonoff from like really far away, Gabe Gonzalez. And today we've got an incredible guest with us. I am so excited to have them on. They are an actor, writer, comedian. Please welcome River Ramirez. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Who would you be from really far away? I've never gotten a celebrity look-alike, um, except from like my aunt who was like, I think I saw a woman on a show that vaguely resembled you. And that's the closest that I've gotten. <laughs> no title of the show, <laughs> nothing. nothing. And I'm like, can you show it to me? And she was like, no, I don't really know where it was. Oh, I love that. So I, I get Jack Antonoff from far away, but I also had a straight roommate who once told me I looked like the gay version of Monk. And I was like, no! <laughs> Tony Shaloub? Here at GLAAD, we work to flip the script on discriminatory or inaccurate LGBTQ narratives. So I'd like to know, what's the first piece of queer media you ever consumed? And how, if at all, would you rewrite it? Do I, do I have to want to rewrite it? Oh, not at all. If at all. But if not at all. But if not at all. Then not at all. Pero like. Pero like not pero at all. Pero like not at all. <laughs> 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 With it being um, a hot topic right now, you know, Paul Rubin's death. Oh yeah. Um, Pee Wee Herman. Uh, that was a big one for me. I mean, it's so queer. What I learned from it was to think outside I don't want to say outside of the box, but like outside of like normal conventions, you know, and to prioritize my imagination mm -hmm. and like the worlds that that could build. Well, I wasn't more out till later in my life. Like those were the principles that stayed in my head for a very long time and like opened up my world. <laughs> Let's move on to our next question. So lastly, last year. Um, <laughs> What's happening? River, it's you! It's know, not me. It Take a breath. Yeah. Oh, uh, trans. Yes. In 2015, activist Faye Seidler pointed out that more Americans claim to have seen a ghost than met a trans person. That year, 2015, GLAAD found 16% of Americans said they personally knew a trans person versus 18% saying they'd seen a ghost according to Pew Research a few years earlier. This year, GLAAD's accelerating acceptance survey found 28% of non-LGBTQ Americans say they personally know a trans person. So that number has gone up. What does this mean for ghosts? I think that it means that ghosts have to fight for their rights, personally. Um, they're not being heard or seen. But you know, like they're totally being. It's like they're invisible. It's like they're invisible, um, and it's like like they were competing against trans people, which I would say were kind of equally as invisible in the in like popular culture. Um, they had a moment with Casper. Oh, strong um, one. But I, th there probably needs to be more representation, more ghost shows, ghost movies. Ghost, um, ghost writers. Ghost writers, ghost politicians, ghost, uh, ghost dating shows. I would love Rea ghost reality dating shows. I would watch that. I would watch. What would you title it? Um, my boo. My boo. My boo. Yeah, and it's All like right. you go to a haunted house <laughs> that was. They like, only invite you to their place. You never go yeah, anywhere else. Yeah. yeah. If you were at an award ceremony accepting an award, who would you think? I'd think um, God, but not the Christian Catholic one. The other one that my mom's like, pero which God do you believe in? ¿Cuál es? You know, like that one. ¿Cuál es? Which one that. is it? Tell me, the wrong one, not the Christian one. Because she dead names me when she talks to me. When she talks to you about the false God. See. Si. Yeah. See. Si. <laughs> you sound. Like all my relatives right now. It's See? really good. There's a Florida Latino-ness of it all that is See, very... que es lati what's Latino about it? What is Latino? What is Latino? Latino? Everything's an attitude. Right? Yeah, you're like, I love you. They're like, and I love you? Huh? <laughs> y que what?
River, in a 2022 interview with Charlie Mark Breiter, you said Furby was trans, but you also said, I like to celebrate life by facing my fears. What's the last thing that scared you? Okay, I decided during pandemic that I wanted to learn guitar and play music and go on a tour, at least one, and I did that with uh, Will Butler, who used to be part of Arcade Fire, but is no longer. And it was so cool to know that I could do that. I always like to challenge myself, more like face my desire, my fears of my desires, mm -hmm. more so than like, just my fears. Like, I'm afraid of heights, so I'm like, mm, I don't really want to do that. But I did do climbing recently. I was like not even this much from the ground, and I was like, ah! And I did that a few times. And I was like, wow, I, okay, but I, I can't, I couldn't. I was like, I can't keep doing this because I can't be scared when I go exercise. Older Latin ladies do have a non-binary vibe. Yeah. Short cropped hair, crazy color choices. I know. Love it. Like purple yeah. hair. Yeah. You're wearing men's clothes. Like, shut up, you're trans. And they <laughs> just like Latin ladies turn trans after a certain age. I need to introduce you to my grandma. So you just like throw a Furby at her and be like, you're both have fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just scream it you're at her. Trans. Yeah, they're like, what are you? I'm like, what are you? <laughs> trans. So I am going to ask you to pick out three terms, phrases, or words from our Dimelo Coffee can. And these words all contain like tropes or stereotypes about the LGBTQ or Latina community. And I'm going to ask you to incorporate all three of these words into a monologue, okay? okay. So here we go. Mija. Mija is the first. Sassy gay assistant. Chancleta. Chancleta, dale mija. Chancleta. And now, we are going to determine the genre by having you draw a card. So it's like a little, okay. I wanted to do a tarot spread, but we just don't have the real estate, okay, okay, so. Okay. Political drama. Mija, I do not know what's going on. You know, like I went into the office to take care of the president's baby. And I noticed that my chancleta was missing. My chancleta is never missing. I look around, the baby is there sleeping. I'm taking care of him. The sassy gay assistant comes out of nowhere, slaps me in my face, says, what are you doing here after hours? You can't be here. And I'm like, what do you mean I can't be here? I heard a bunch of voices outside and a big, big light coming from the president's chambers. What is going on here? I asked the sassy gay assistant. <laughs> I noticed that behind his back, he has my chancleta. Mija, when I saw the chancleta, I was like, something bad is going on here. Something feels like aliens. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you, that was beautiful. Put it in like a Samuel French compilation of women in monologues for, <laughs> for like tween actors yeah. trying to break into the industry. <laughs> when they grab their lower back, yeah. it, during that chancleta moment, it's gonna be legendary. My chancleta. My chancleta. <laughs> River, thank you so much for playing and hanging thank out. That, that is all we have for you today. Is there anything else you'd like to leave us with before we go? Um, ooh, no. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining us and thank you for watching. You can check out more episodes of Dimelo on GLAD's social media channels. And if you'd like to learn more about GLAD's Latine and Spanish language media team, you can check out GLAD.org.